So how do you make a single PDF file from multiple image files? The first step is to open a software called Adobe Acrobat Pro that you have on your laptop. And so open that uh, software and then go to File, Create PDF, or combine. We could do combine. That might be good. Merge files into a single PDF. Now, this window gives you the option of adding files. Please put it on a single PDF, not the portfolio selection. So you click on that, and then you can add a whole folder, multiple folders, or I recommend this selection, Add Files. This allows you to navigate wherever you want to go in your, on your laptop, in your file structure, and find files that you wish to combine together to make um, a single file. So let's not do that one. So let's say we have this combination of files, and I'm looking for a JPEG. I guess there's, there's a JPEG. Um, so what we can do is now we can just select files. There's a JPEG. By pressing the Command key, um, if I push the, the Shift key, I select everything that's available. Um, but I don't want everything. I just want this one. So I push the command key and I just pick a few files uh, from different places. Let's see. Lots of TIFFs all over the place. So let's... So we just have this selection of files and say, okay, now I'm, I'm ready. Those are the files I want to group together. Uh, Notice that DWGs are not available, so that they need to be opened up in AutoCAD and saved as some other file type, some image file type, either PDF, JPEG, TIFF, etc. So we add our files. Now once here, uh, you have the option to change the order. Uh, you can eliminate um, one or more and basically just change it till it, you think it's in the right order. This will be the order in which the files appear. You'll notice that there are multiple file sizes and um, this process can actually manipulate those file sizes. You might want to try um, the smaller file because this will be emailed. Or you might want to keep all the files as large as possible uh, so that you have a high-resolution version of this project and then use another uh, feature which is under the advanced menu um, PDF optimizer is here that can be used to adjust to make multiple versions of the file at different resolutions including a very small file less than 10 megabytes suitable for sending over email. So whatever you choose, and I'm just going to choose that, you push combine files and let uh, Adobe Acrobat work its magic. There it goes and now it says do you want to um, do you want to rename this? And I say okay let's rename it and um, I'm going to rename it according to our protocols, like that. And uh, there it is. And now I can view it. Let's see where to go. Um, there's the four pages. I can view it as a slideshow. And there I have it. 
And so that's a single file, and I renamed it. I can close it, and let's look at how big that one is. So that file is two megabytes, and if I opened it, I can go, while we're here, let's change it using PDF Optimizer. I'm going to make it super small. You might want to just go do it at a medium resolution, and you say OK, and there it goes. I'm going to say that's a medium-sized file, and off we go. Again, Acrobat works its magic, and the resulting file size is significantly smaller, 389 kilobytes. And so there you have it. Good luck.